how can someone calculate the cost of building in Kenya? Yeah. Kuna standardized. Okay. In Kenya, ambayo mm-hmm. inakuanga 33,000 to 85,000 square meter yeah. per square meter. And and uh, what does that mean per square meter? <coughs> It means that kama nyumba yako iko 10 by 10, uh-huh. 10 meters yeah. by 10. Uh-huh. Yeah, that is uh-huh. 100 square meters. I get, eh? Uh-huh. You multiply by 33,000. So per uh-huh. your cube Yes, yeah, square meter yeah. you spend that 3000. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that is almost 3 by 3 feet. So mm. you see mm. per square meter. Yeah. So that's the estimate. Yeah. But now wakifanya hii estimate mm-hmm. yao mm-hmm. walifanya na tao. Okay. And you know things there are quite expensive. What? Nairobi it is quite, quite expensive. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, no. Uh-huh. And then wakifanya uh-huh. wanafanya na costs na, na things like wana, wana include cost of architects, mm. cost of plans, mm-hmm. cost of so many things zenye zina come up na okay. building. Okay. No, no. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. achana na shamba. Shamba uh-huh. iko tofauti. Uh-huh. No, no. Uh-huh. So ukitaka kujua the cost of your building naambia uh-huh. architect wako hata kani ya gorofa mm. mwambie kuhesabia how many square feet uh, square nini meters iko na ngapi unaweza mm. kuhesabia in square feet mm. you divide mm. no na mm. so hapo utapata an idea of that mm. but that does not mean it's final mm-hmm. because kuna mtu aliniambia zile rooms zile nilijenga shop Eh? Mm-hmm. na ndanganyana yeye eh, anajenga nyumba ya 3 bedroom na 700k. Oh wait wait, at nyumba gani? Is the project. Eh? Uh-huh. Si nilisema to- cost of building kwa 2.5. Yeah. Kwa comment akasema mm-hmm. I'm lying mm-hmm. that hiyo nyumba mm-hmm. ime build on 2.5. Uh-huh. But here yeah, juu hii nyumba the foundation imeeka uh-huh. itabeba hii nyumba another three floors. Yeah. So ile chuma nimetumia pale uh, ni chuma ya kubeba hii nyumba mpaka oh, he didn't hii. first get all the details aliangalia tu akasema hii hey, is cost you eh uh, juni rumine wewe okay. unaangalia tu side uh, there are so many other factors to consider yeah so uh, mimi nikijenga hiyo mm. si kama najenga tu hizo shops nne mm. hata 500k zingetosha yeah but mimi nazijenga yeah. with the, with the knowledge that hii nyumba ikitoka chini inaenda kama imepa hey, imepanda So foundation yako sio ya hiyo tu. Eh. Ni zaenda floor zingine. Chuma za nyezi nilisema zilikuwa 400 plus k. Yeah. Za hako kapata yeah, yake. Yeah. Juu lazima ukue na. I think he, he or she didn't get that part. Yeah. Maybe. You see? Yeah. Ama ni wale tu soma tu. Ai, so the for shops. So well, that's yeah. that's typical Kenyans. Yeah. 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 We don't pay attention yeah. to details. Yeah, so that's another thing. Mm. So inalinga na pia what are you building? Una jenga yeah. apartment kwa. Yeah. Kama una jenga a mansionette, mansionette yeah. nayo another thing inaweza ene vinu na yekelea floor nyingine juu. Mm. Juu ya pillars. Yeah. Na kuishikilia. Mm. Chuma ni expensive. Mm. Yeah. It must be expensive. Yeah, true. Ene vinu na yekelea kitu yeah. <laughs> floor nyingine yeah. juu. Yeah. Yeah. Kama ni mabati Even 500k can build yeah, a house. Yeah. Size, mabati na mm. na nini na the the, mm. the shape no na. Mm. So to calculate, I would say that ukiwa Nairobi is a calculation of those in Indiana. Mm. But kama unajenga outside Nairobi, mm. there are so many ways to cut those costs. Yeah, yeah. And number one, ni kama professional fees. Eh? Mm. Sometimes especially kama ujenge ya gorofa, ni kabunga ro naweza jicholea nyumba. Mm. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Naweza atachukua plans online. Mm. Zimeja. Mm. Sio ni fee umekata. Yeah. Eh? Si yeah, yako tu ya kuishi. Eh, eh. Si ni design yeah. zako. Eh. Yeah. Bora tu food wako asikumesa kuambia iko strong vile. Yeah, yeah, eh. Yeah. You see so I I I can't say that you can't and then another thing ni soil the soil type bado ina determine yeah, that cost so you yeah. can't really know the calculation yeah. but kama unataka kupata idea tumia the 33000 mm. per square meter yeah. okay na hiyo itakumalizia 
mm. on average but kama uko high end kabisa una utaka high end materials mm. 85000 mm. uko hapo in between okay mm. i think that's that's important to know yeah yeah uh-huh. yeah tutoke hapo <coughs> um sasa pia on that je yo how eh hebu tueleze jo i think pain confusing yeah difference ya flat roof na normal roofs cost and age yeah cost so nimesema hivi any part any point unakuja unaekelea ukoro uzito juu yeah, yeah. yeah? that cost juu uzito lazima ishikilie yeah, na yeah. chuma so that affects pia huko chini eh ina affect how utaitoa chini mm, but mm. nowadays kuna watu wanakaa na uzanza mm. yeah wanajenga kitu kinaka flat roof alafu huko juu wanaeka mabati but sasa wamepandisha mawe juu kabisa mm. so mabati kwa katikati so ukiwa mbali una wanani flat roof <laughs> oh, oh, oh wait wait ati anaeka ya mabati ya kawaida eh yeah. then juu anafunikia na mawe a uh-uh. a This is the house. See uh-huh. this is, this uh-huh. is the house at Ajenga. Uh-huh. Mabati anaeka. Eh eh. Alafu hapa nje anapandisha tu tu maetu hili tutatu. Oh from a distance you would notice that. Eh eh. Kama kakabu ka hivyo eh. Eh. So ukiwa mbali na ni flat roof. Alafu sasa hii ume unaona nga petrol station. Sina kwa nga flat roof. Eh. Like na uona ngi uona ngi maji kienda hivi. Maji yaenda hivi. Eh. Yeah. Inaenda katikati yeah, and then wanaika yeah. pipe yeah, in yeah. drop. So that's the same. Watu wameanza kunini. Yeah, wameanza kudesign hivyo. But now hiyo mm-hmm. nayo ni risk. Ji ukipata problem na gata gata zako zijae. <laughs> Inaingia katikati ya nyumba. <laughs> so I would not uh-huh. advise anyone to do that eh? uh-huh. because people are obsessed with flat roofs yeah. but the normal flat roofs are quite expensive due to other factors kita kan nyumba yote flat roof alafu watu wengi wanata flat roof wataki one level house wanataka two levels wanataka mm. ground floor na first floor mm. so cost haiwezi fanana haiwezi yeah, and then he how mm. na nimeishi ni kisist ya watu mm. he how is 750k the reason i ilikuwa hivyo ni juu tulipata mawe on the ground yeah. you have visited that mm. site yeah, yeah. you can attest huko kumejaa mawe mawe na juu kumejaa mawe akukua na foundation ili chimbo mm. nyumba ile ya kile tuji ya ma mm. yeah. yeah. <laughs> na ikaanza mm. so foundation peke yake was 100k mm. so kufika penye ile fika la 750 mm. ili kwamba hii mm. yeah. na ikiisha yes we, we have in estimate it is 1.5 mm. now what, what I, uh, i'm hearing you say is that kuna factors mtu fa consider before hiyo mm. cost ya huyo hizi bana ni mwingine mm. exactly mm. ka unataka flat roof mm. ina affect hard foundation yeah. cause lazima consider hiyo weight yeah. so ka unataka hii roof ya kawaida mm. uh, that that's make it easier for you yeah. so mtu waezi kuja one huyo amejenga na hii aseme hata yeye hata yeah. <laughs> atatumia the same amount yeah. depends on the kind of house and the soil like umesema pia soil mm. uh, foundation iko aje kama huyo alipata mawe mm. advantage iko yake yeah. yeah. unaweza pata for example huku kwetu is a bit swampy mm. unapata pesa nyingi zinakula kama kama hiyo yeye msala yeah, sana foundation. foundation you have to really yeah lazima u dig uh, yeah ju unajenga nyumba ku <coughs> yeah. na itakuwa na weight kubwa itakuwa mm. na so many houses so, so And I think pia ni muhimu eh na tuko na hiyo tabia wa Kenya hata kwa mabiashara ukiona mtu mmoja amefanya kitu tunataka kufanya una copy paste exactly yeah na uja, uja dig deep ujue kama kuna factors in favor yeah all right haya sasa kwa comment sections eh mm. si tunaendelea nataka yeah. utujibu kwa sababu uh, tumekuwa na misconceptions na mm. sazi, maybe kuna details za tukupata vizuri au mm. tuna assume yeah all right so hiyo nyingine nataka ueleze uh, cutting cost correctly cutting cost correctly jukuna hiyo ku cut mzee cut vibaya jua naona hii ni 750 ajua hata mimi nanyonga foundation yeah but haifarani na huyo mwingine yeah please so cutting yeah. cost correctly ni first identify identifying your strengths yeah kama hiyo hiyo yeye alikuwa na strength ya shamba yake yeah. is the shamba was his strength yeah 
another thing kama sasa mimi nikijenga pale one advantage ni kwa nani nilikuwa na miti mm. that's a strength yeah. i didn't cut corners yeah. ile miti ilitisha na contractor mm. nilieka mm. nilipeleka mm. so first identify your strengths yeah. what's shamba yako iko na strengths mm. do you have a strength in your location mm. yeah. can you assess materials cheaply yeah. at your yeah. location yeah. Unaweza kuwa karibu na kwari. Yeah. Hiyo ni strength. Yeah, hiyo uh-huh. ni strength. So yeah. identify your strengths yeah, yeah. and then exploit that strength. Yeah. You see that mm. here. Yeah. When you do that, now you start cutting costs. Mm. Yeah. Don't cut corners. Yeah. Cutting costs is not cutting corners. Yeah. Those are two different things. Yeah. Kama mjengo inafaa mjengo hivi, jenga hivi. <laughs> Don't cut corners. Cut costs. Yeah. Not when corners. you ca- when cut costs yes but not corners. Not corners. Kama ratio ya ya nini na ya ya whatever unajenga nini ni 1:2 ni mm. ya simiti na yeah. la mchanga tumia hiyo. Uh, Usifikiri una cut cost ki nini ki cut corners. Yeah. yeah. Don't cut cost corners. You more yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you have noted, mm. ata hizo mjengo zote, ata hii ya 750, mm. hai ya cut corners. Mm. Foundation tuliweka ya chuma. Mm. Ni venye tu tulipata. Yeah, kuna sasa hiyo strength. Yeah, tuko na hiyo strength. Yeah, yeah. Kwa nini tutachimba hapi kwingine? And then another strength we had in that one is that the fact that it was not a commercial house. Yeah. Na we knew it ai beba road mm. it ai tumia yeah. either as a residential house yeah. for the family yeah. ama as a hotel yeah. hmm. so the only way to na beba ni vitanda yeah. na watu yeah. so hata tukie ka zile yeah. zile zile wafos tunajua what you doing If, so the purpose <coughs> the purpose of the building also yeah. Yeah, the determines top. how 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 far you can cut the cost yeah You see? Mm. So, always he, and then let's say unataka kuweka water tanks huko juu. Mm. And then weke uto tuko kilitoa fos. Katakuja kabomo yake. Uh, Juka meshikilio tu na alafu asi na chuma. Alafu aseme aliona kwa hivi 100 kwa hivi. Ah, kana era kama. No the purpose of your house. Yeah, true. Yeah? True. Lo na. So, number one, uh Cutting, cutting costs, cutting corners. Yeah, don't cut corners. Number two, mm-hmm. purpose ya, building ya. Yeah. You have to factor in yeah. all those. Na uh, mm-hmm. vile, vile inafa, ufuata vile inafa. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know your strengths. Eh? Yeah. And every every person has strengths. Yeah. Kasa sapa sagana, you have strengths of materials. Mm-hmm. Na sikia watu wanataka kujenga na pre-cast na nini na juuliza. Hizi vitu zote darugo kuendea Moranga ile darugo mm, mm, iko hapa Moranga mm, ni 25 shillings. Mm, mm. Kukuja nayo 5 bob ya mm, transport. Mm, Kaanjo 2 bob. So inafika hapa na 30 32 bob. Mm, why why can yeah. why should I na hiyo ni da, ni mawe stri- and the, it's tried and tested and I know how it uh, yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah. But kama ni kombali from such materials mm. eh na hapo ndo nafikiria so tuko na strength there materials yeah but tuko na weakness ya land eh ni swamp at most parts ni swamp yeah, yeah, you see so hizo hizo ni vitu nafaa kujielewa mm, mm. kama uko kwa mlima mm. lazima ujue ile nyumba unajenga isikuje <laughs> yeah. is right na mm. well yeah. uh, it, on that on that uh, issue eh? uh, one of us commented like as a disaster waiting to that to happen yeah the reason why is <coughs> my vo ni ju ni ni sema zile cost to make up because these are concrete offers mm. to kiaka to cut costs ya from 350 per square feet mm. to 130 shillings per square feet okay so you need do mingi sana yeah. you see so here yeah, na interpret ni cut corners eh yeah. yeah. atuku cut corners yeah, yeah. We just we just we knew the purpose of the building yeah. the weight that it can handle yeah and na na sasa we yani we we know it hiyo ni muhimu hiyo ni key sana na we had so many many advantages mm. tuko karibu na kwares mm. eh yeah? tuko na dust poor mm see dust ingine nilienda kiambu nikaipata mm. our dust ni ile iko na sand properties mm. in yeah. it so we yeah. didn't need any sand yeah. we have good sand here mbele huko yeah. 
Eh? Mm. But, but hiyo zia hizi ile available. Yeah. Tuko karibu na Nairobi so yeah. hata simiti ni 20 yeah. bob juu yeah. kutoka tao. So yeah. we are so advantageous at, yeah. at our location yeah. and especially at that farm yeah. that kujenga hiyo nyumba ilikuwa nga easier. So before someone makes such conclusions yeah. it's good to ask themselves where they are located. Yeah. Uh, what uh, advantages they have mm-hmm. and purpose yeah and then buildings. another thing yeah. you nyumba mwenye advantage nyingine mwenye ni architect so i pay the fees mzo na card to card na use local available materials up up what want to take notes yeah 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 let yeah. people take yeah. notes now is a matter ile nyumba iko sawa sana bwana Yeah. <laughs> well, ni vizuri by the way ukiona mtu amejenga na certain amount uh, unajiuliza maswali. Yeah. Usi conclude mm. ame cut corners. Mm. Juliza foundation yake iko waje yeah. kama alikuwa na materials kama vile ulikuwa na zile miti yeah. contractor alipitisha. Yeah. Ni vizuri kujiuliza kabla ujaji useme haijafikia yeah. 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 so that was awesome yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you guys remember to like share subscribe and also hit the bell icon for you to be notified each and every time you have a new video see you next time cheers